Howdy ho H2O's, Roller Bros, and the Nerd Eras alike. I'm your guide, Q. Welcome back to r slash quit your BS and r slash that happened. I love that today's comment is about somebody being randomly unsubscribed from my channel, so that's interesting. But can I interest you, can I interest any of you in some sugar-free sugar? Let's see what's going on here with this sugar-free sugar. A mystery wrapped in an enigma drizzled with conundrum. See that bit of gray faded text? Mystery solved. It's a Shutterstock stock image that this person just slapped on there and was like, Oh, I have the meme of the century, sugar-free sugar. Also, I don't know why, but I just enjoy this Postbusters image so much. Not sure you'll even get this or if your number is the same, but I've lived mostly happily without you for some time now, and then I wake up to messages from Stacy saying you threatened to punch her in the jaw. Like, what? Can you just leave me and my life? That includes Stacy alone. If you see her out, pretend you don't know her. Ignore her existence as you've done mine for the past year. Please. Well, that's interesting considering that I live in the Dominican Republic still. Nice to know your friend is still a liar, though. So this guy said he lives 3,500 miles away from where this incident supposedly took place. And I'm just wondering, what does the friend have to gain out of this? Or is the girlfriend just lying about the friend making up this story? This goes so deep and it all makes no sense whatsoever. Every crappy school has this specific bulldog clip art as their mascot. Okay guys, true fact that this image is actually tipped off my school. We were the originals. Now before you go, dude, you go to some school nobody knows, boo. Note my school is one of the oldest schools in the United States, having been constructed in 1821 in downtown Portland, Maine. We created this logo and everybody else stole it from us. Nope, it's from Cartoon Animation by Preston Blair, 1980. I love how this dude's just like, my school's wicked old, you just gotta trust me on this. Like, this style of animation and drawing was even a thing in 1821. Me at the Starbucks inside of Target. Yeah, add two extra shots to the latte, please. What? Two extra shots. Are you sure? Our lattes are already quite strong. Oh, just the opposite. Starbucks isn't strong at all. Y'all have burnt beans. The darker the bean, the less caffeine from the bean itself. Your coffee is actually quite weak. I'm also a stay-at-home mom of two. So please, load that sucker up with two extra shots of espresso so that it tastes somewhat decent, as I do not have the time to go to a real coffee brewery today. Oh, um, okay, that'll be 587. Me, smiley face. I just don't understand in what universe this woman thinks this makes her sound good or cool or interesting at all. You're just like, oh, I'm going to a, a coffee shop that I don't prefer. And then, the, and then the barista's like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? I'm pretty sure a barista would not be like, oh, it's already pretty strong. You shouldn't add two shots. I'd just be like, okay, two extra shots in the latte. I'll make that up for you right away. Let me know what you think her rationale is, but I personally think she just wants to set herself apart as this coffee connoisseur that just, ugh, starts. Starbucks isn't good enough for me, they have burnt beans. It's not me, but one time my sisters Lauren and Brandy got into a fight, and Brandy threw a brush at Lauren so hard that it hit and killed the tumor that was growing in her throat. Brandy now has saving a life marked off her bucket list. This actually segues perfectly into my new campaign, hashtag throw objects at cancer patients. We gotta get out there, spread awareness, go on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, I don't care where, just implore people to throw stuff at cancer patients to save them. I was in university classroom. Sitting across from me was this smoking hot black girl. I wanted to impress her and get her number. The professor started talking about how God does not exist, and that if you believe that God exists, you have to prove he exists right now or be kicked off the campus grounds. I stood up, walked up to him, put him in a headlock, and held my sharpened pencil right next to his bulging jugular, and said if you know God is not real, then you will not be afraid to die, for life is suffering without purpose, and death a sweet release. But all men know that God exists in their soul, and I know you fear the eternal flames of hell. The professor broke down crying and pleading me not to kill him, and he admitted he feared God's judgment upon death. I looked up, and she was smiling at me. After her class, I got her number. Later, we smashed! This sounds like the plot of that movie God's Not Dead just took a horrendously dark turn just for the benefit of this guy impressing this girl. Like, what is this story? I love it. I mean, I adore it. And it's amazing, and this person should get into writing if they can improve their grammar and spelling a little bit. But like, oh my god, this is wonderful. 
At some point in his life, Michael Jackson uttered the very last hee-hee of his entire life, and no one realized. I wanted to hee-hee to this, but instead I just wept uncontrollably until the lady next to me at Starbucks asked if someone died, to which I said, Yes, the king, the king has died. Did she stand up and clap? Yes, and so did I. And then we both stood up and cried and did the thriller dance together, and the Starbucks employees were so inspired that they created a new latte called the Teehee, made from pure tears of Michael Jackson fans. Walking into the elevator after my interview, and this kid who was stepping off to interview gets right back in the elevator. I hold the door. Did you change your mind? Kid says, yeah man, after seeing how you're dressed and how I'm dressed, there's no point. Best believe I wouldn't let him on the elevator and sent his ass on the floor to the interview. Hashtag Taurus. Oh my god, that is such a Taurus thing to do. Just showing people up with your outfit, this kid's like, I have no hope, because clearly I'm not dressed as well. My credentials don't matter, my personality doesn't matter, anything that I bring to this job other than my looks does not matter. I'm just screwed. I'm a woman. I'm at an anime convention dressed as the female main character from the anime Sword Art Online. A guy walks up to me dressed in a sloppy outfit that I could only assume was based off my character's love interest in the show. Guy. Smirks. Nice outfit. Thanks. I made it myself. Do you even know what you're supposed to be? Um, character from Sword Art Online? Humph. Well, our costumes fit each other. Wanna go out sometime? Sorry, buddy, I'm taken. My boyfriend is talking with some of my friends of his, and I point to him. Walks away while muttering, Stupid fake geek butthole! Doesn't even know who she is. Excuse me? I'll have you know that this is my favorite anime, and you should keep your sexist comments to yourself. Butthole! At least I know the damn show. Oh, really? The guy smirks again as I burst into the show's theme song, which is in Japanese. Yume de Takaku Tonda Karada Wadana Fuan Matote Mo Fury Harati Ku. The guy's mouth drops open and he runs away while I get a round of applause. Just so you guys know, I have no idea what the theme song is to Sword Art Online. I just made up my own thing. I probably mispronounced everything, but God, this is just this cannot be more of a made-up story. Like you're such a real anime fan. I hope you know that I know that you are the truest fan of Sword Art Online that has ever existed. You have my respect. I was forced to play Russian Roulette a very long time ago by robbers who broke into my house. This song brings back that terrible memory. Rest in peace, cousin. I wish I could bring you back, but unfortunately, we never knew the circumstances that stood before us that fateful night. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, I'm sorry to laugh if this actually happened, but like, what robbers break in and force people to play Russian Roulette? Like, that is such a waste of time. You're robbing people, you want to get out of there as soon as possible. If you want to kill somebody, I guess just do it quickly and get out of there, instead of being like, let's draw this out and make it super dramatic and leave one of you alive so you can identify us in the future. This is a post from a boss babe, Essential Oils mom. Check out my MLM videos if you want more stuff like this. My kids are going to be so prepared to take care of themselves and stay healthy in life. Things they often say to themselves or each other. I need some probiotics. Probably just needs a little lavender. I think I'll do the wet sock treatment tonight. Ew, I'm it drinking after you? Mom, can I make a capsule with oregano and thieves? I need lettuce on my sandwich. Hey, where's my growing oil? I think I'd need a little bit more protein with this meal. Wait, I haven't had my wellness shot yet. Um, are you sure you want to eat that? I don't want you to have a heart attack. Can I have a fat bomb? <laughs> what is any of them? I'm so confused already. Can we have blueberries for dessert? See, that's a good one. I just need some peace and calming on my feet before bed. Don't forget to turn on my diffuser and get me a drink of water. Ew, this store smells like chemicals. Let's stop for dinner, but not at McDonald's. They don't have real food. Just put oils on it. One, what is the wet sock treatment? I don't like the sound of that at all. It sounds like something that's just going to foster athlete's foot. And I, I don't believe that your kids are saying these things to each other or to themselves. Like, what kid is going to say, let's stop for dinner, but not at McDonald's. They don't have real food. Like, why would McDonald's even be a thought in their mind of a place to go if you haven't raised them going to a place like McDonald's? Like, they're like, oh, I want to go to dinner, but definitely not at McDonald's. We cannot go there. Like, that's so strange. And if they are saying all these things, like, I'm calling CPS. This is so weird. You're just getting them addicted to essential oils to solve all their problems.
I've been kind of experimenting with doing different things over on Twitch, and tonight I think I want to play a horror game, so if any of you guys have any suggestions for good free horror games that'll put a good spoop in me tonight, give me a suggestion down in the comments. I'm looking for free stuff that you can find on Steam, you know, I'm not looking to break the bank here, but yeah, give me your suggestions down there. I'll also probably been be switching it up and doing some Ramsey, maybe playing some RuneScape in that stream as well. I'm doing all kinds of things over there, so if you like a good time, if you like cool people in the chat, come chill over there. Uh, Twitch.com tv slash york you will be in the description down below as well as my twitter my instagram and amazon affiliate links to all of my equipment so feel free to check that stuff out otherwise skate on to the best of your abilities everybody make sure you're drinking more water and i hope you have an absolutely wonderful fantastic fantabulous terrific day fantabulous what does that even mean